Warning, the following video contains explicit language which may be offensive to some viewers or inappropriate for children. The content within this video is intended for mature audiences only. Do you know how many female and male adolescent underage people that I, I, if, if I ever wind up in court because of you fucktarded ass YouTubers. <laughs> Looks like your boy Cecil's scared as shit because he knows his time's up. So roll up about 10 blunts because this shit's about to get crazy. In this week's episode of Big Mad, episode 26, Cecil, the creep of Covington. I don't think it's just because it's been a minute I forgot all about Billy the Kid Toucher. Cause I didn't. He has been up to a lot of fuck shit. And he has been talking a lot of shit as well. So let's see what he's been up to. I don't know why you sent a USB thing. I plugged it into my computer and the first indication that it, that it doesn't act normal. I'm not, I'm not taking the extreme of trying to see what's on this thing. Looks like somebody left your boy a gift. He don't seem too happy about it. <laughs> if I see somebody who's unauthorized on my porch, you will get shot on the spot. This chomo ain't shooting nobody. Everybody knows he only got those guns. For looks. <laughs> because when you walk underneath my porch's roof, you are in my dwelling. I know the law. If y'all have a problem with me, come do something to me. You gotta be a real dumbass to invite people to your house to cause harm to you. Because I know the law, and I know the self-defense laws. I never invited you guys. Then what the hell does he call this? Y'all have a problem with me, come do something to me. Sounds like an invitation to me. <laughs> Sending a little kid named Logan to my house to put shit in my mailbox because a little bitch-ass motherfucker lives up the street. And you would think he would show proof of Logan putting something in his mailbox since he got cameras all over the house. Oh, my bad. He only uses those cameras to take his kids' friends. You guys, you guys use kids to do your dirty work for you. The only person that tried to get Logan to do his dirty work was Cecil. You tried to get Logan to scam people to turn on you. Yeah, I did. I did. And since Logan was only 15, that just goes to show that Cecil likes to... Use kids, because ain't none of y'all man enough to come confront me. Isn't this the same goofy that just said... I never invited you guys. <laughs> What a dumbass. It's just a big ass fucking little child game that you guys like to play. The only person playing games with children is Cecil. I went along with playing house once. But for the most part, every time those kids was going after me. Because when Cecil's around, eight and 10 year olds just can't stop trying to molest this dude. <laughs> testing my camera system, testing me as a man. But none of y'all come and confront me face to face and say what you got to say or what you assume about me to my face. And anybody will tell you inviting people to your house when you have a daughter is a bad idea. So when he goes to court trying to claim people came to see him, he better not try to say, I never invited you guys. Because that shit ain't gonna work at this point. Because you're pussies. You've always been pussies. You always will be pussies. Says the guy that has to walk around his house with two guns on his hips at all times. <laughs> when I wind up legally having to shoot somebody who's trying to subliminally threaten me and my family, then the cops will have the evidence. When you invite people to your house just so you can shoot them, the only evidence the cops are gonna have is premeditated murder. <laughs> Ooh, you put something in my mailbox. Oh no, I'm so scared. And since your boy's not scared at all, they're gonna play that clip in court when he tries to claim his life was in danger once he shoots somebody. You guys need attention that bad? Did your mommy didn't breast milk you motherfuckers good enough? Yeah, I was asking him the same question, especially when I heard him say this about him and his brother. Turns out Walter, I guess he was awake and playing with himself or something. And you gotta be sick when you're in the same room doing that shit with your brother. And my mom came in and turned the light on. It was at this moment that she knew she fucked up. Yeah, cause she realized she was raising a couple of weirdos. Mom caught me butt naked trying to change my clothes. And as you can see, this dude's been a pervert ever since he was a kid. My mom assumed that something nasty was going on. I'm sure her assumptions were right, judging by this dude's history. <laughs> and I'm glad you guys keep thinking it's a game. Cause I'm going to catch one of y'all one of these days. So keep playing with me. As you can see, the heat's getting to you, boy. And since nobody takes this show more seriously, he tried a pathetic attempt at intimidation. And that shit just made him look more like an idiot. Check it out. I'm an old Kentucky boy. <laughs> Your boy's been dick riding a bunch of country rappers lately. And now he's no longer a rapper. 
He's a country boy. Eminem described people like him best when he says, It makes up crack when we crossed over the country. <laughs> Long list of bikers, hillbillies, and country folks who don't give a fuck. And we knew he didn't give a fuck when he came online and confessed to sleeping with his cousins. <laughs> and you don't even hesitate to lie out your mouths. And only God can take care of you for that one. Because I don't really judge people that I don't know. Yeah, remember he said that. Because that's definitely going to come in handy. The problem is, for you guys, is you're just mad that you can't bully me. We don't have to bully this dude. The junkies in his neighborhood and everybody else are doing a good job of that on their own. <laughs> he found an idiot to do it for him. This dude never gave me my hundred back. He took 50 out of his pocket, handed it to his friend, put the hundred that he stole from me in his back pocket. They both turned around and walked right into the fucking barber shop. I'm like, wow. And this is the only dumbass I know that has two guns on his hip, yet still gets robbed by two crackheads. <laughs> Wonder why? I blatantly wear these on my videos. For looks. Because he ain't intimidating anybody. Well, it's me sending a message without sending a message. Don't fuck with my family. We never fuck with his family. He's the only person that's harassing his family with his fucking cameras and his bullshit. Y'all are just mad because you can't bully us. And we refu refuse to be bullied. And since your boy refused to be bullied, he decided he was going to be a bully himself and started messing with Logan again. You know. The young kid that can out-rap Cecil any day of the week. And that shit was hilarious. That little dude that tried to lie and say he was a victim of mine. Lied and said that he saw me doing pills in front of him and shit. He definitely didn't lie about it since Cecil came out and admitted it in the past video. Well, I want to show you. Look, I had this dude on my mixtape. He came to me asking me to work with him. Something he can't prove. And since the kid was only 13, I'm sure he didn't know any better. Because he thought it was going to get him some type of clout working, for him, working with me. And you already know that's a lie since every other rapper in Covington says Cecil's the worst. I want you guys to judge his rap skills. Tell me if you think he's good or not. This dude is over 40 and he is sitting in his room right now crying over a little kid. If you can't tell, he only made this video as an excuse to play his music. That's why he didn't play Logan's verse first. Hold on, it's me again. This goofy knows exactly what he's doing. He said, he said, don't try to lie to me. <laughs> like, what the fuck is that? As you can see, your boy's still triggered because he can't out rap Logan. This dude had a kid as an underage boy with an underage girl. But I'm, but I'm a creep for talking about it, though, right? When you're 39 hanging around a bunch of kids, I'll say you're a creep in the first place. I'm creeping on his ex-girlfriend just for bringing it up, apparently. He was creeping on his ex-girlfriend for other reasons, but we'll get to that. This dude started rapping because I was rapping. This dude tried paranormal work because I was doing paranormal work. Regardless if I was in recovery or not, this dude while trying to mentor this kid to not be a negative troll, which that's what he ultimately became, I get I get fucking attacked for it. He gets attacked because he's a fucking chomo. But Logan saw this video, along with the other four he made before this, and decided to do a reaction. And it was fucking hilarious. Got Check it out. For you guys today. Two or three or four more videos about me, so let's just fucking watch it. It doesn't matter if your music is on all platforms. It's not gonna get you nowhere. I never told you that it mattered, and also it did get me somewhere, so. Unlike Cecil, Logan's music is blowing up right now. And as you can see, Cecil ain't happy about it. You shit on everybody who helped you. No, I don't. Anyone who has ever helped me, I have shown great appreciation. You have never helped me in any way, shape, or form. Everybody who helps you grow or pushes for you to do great things, you shit on them. Every single minute of me going higher in performance is due to me and my hard work. You have nothing to do or show for my hard work. So you, if you continue to be like that, you ain't never going to get nowhere. I'm actively getting somewhere right now. It's, it's actively like it's in real time. 
my album did just drop. Make sure to stream my new album, Faith and Cup Squad. While Logan is actively making music, Cecil is actively making a fool out of himself. <laughs> you turn on good people who never did anything wrong to you. I do not turn on people for no reason. Cecil knows exactly why Logan stopped coming around. He just don't want to say it. That's pathetic. No, you were pathetic. You've made three or four different videos consecutively on me in the past two days. That's pathetic. You're not going to go nowhere with your music like that. Says the one not going anywhere with his music, and I'm the one going somewhere with mine. And that's the main reason why Billy the Kid Toucher won't leave Logan alone. Not everything is about you that I do online. <clears throat> and by the way, I want to say one more thing, guys. One more thing, another thing, another thing, another thing. You just love making videos on me, don't you? I just live in your head rent free. I don't even want to talk about him. <laughs> your video feed really looks like someone who doesn't want to talk about me. <laughs> he ain't lying. These are the same trolls I had when you were defending me on Hermie Street. Yes, I was defending you at one point, and this was before I knew exactly what you had done, because I never looked into it. You were always like, don't listen to the haters, don't listen to what they say, don't watch the videos they post. As you can see, he was trying to manipulate and brainwash Logan from the start. I found the full, unedited video of you admitting to crazy shit. And that's all it took to let Logan know your boy was a creep. You're a pretty twisted person, man. And also, all the videos I watch about him are videos of him talking. It's not videos of other people putting words in his mouth or anything. It's of him talking. And as we all know by now, Cecil is his own worst enemy. Same people that you were defending me against when we made the song together a few years ago. Just because I made a song with you in the past doesn't mean I'm cool with you now. And it's not like I begged you to make that song. We were, you were just like, wanna hop on a song, and I said, sure. And since Cecil was on the track, the song went nowhere. <laughs> you look lame. Says the fucking grown man making four to three or four videos on someone way younger than him. And the fact that a grown ass man is being schooled by a kid is fucking hilarious. <laughs> First of all, let me say this. I've never, I'm not a sex offender. Never was. Whoa, where, where is this going? What the fuck? Never even came close. Well, what the fuck? When did we go onto this topic again? And second, Logan, you're going around telling my daughter's old friend's brothers that I'm a rapist molester? I didn't tell them that. Their family already knew about you from the fucking videos of you admitting to shit. You see, anytime somebody exposes Cecil and Covington, he always tries to blame Logan for it. But it wasn't Logan at all. And thanks to our boy Scooter Biggins, we know exactly who it was. So spark up now, cause this shit's about to get good. Is this the guy about the Cecil thing? Yeah, yeah, it's Scooter, bro. How you doing? All right. Pretty good, pretty good. So fucking, yeah, this guy told me to hate holler at you and uh, get, get some, some of the 411, some of the scoop from you. So I'm gonna uh, yeah. fucking find out what you were talking about. So my sister is friends with his was friends with his daughter throughout all the grade school, and I didn't know anything about him being a pedophile until like afterwards. This is the brother of one of Cecil's daughter's former friends. And he got an interesting story. To tell. Like, and it's a, it's a full on. It, it it does check. It's all the full on legal case that did happen, and he did plead guilty. Oh, he pled guilty to some shit. Uh, yeah, yeah, it's a real case. Like, he slept with a 10-year-old and a 9-year-old girl back in the day. Was the Cecil the same dude that said the girls never accused him or anything? <laughs> and he got off because he was 17 and pled the, like, the charges were dropped or something along those lines. But he was going for the plea guilty. He did not try to deny it back then. This dude is a whole fucking chomo. But, uh, I'm making a, a video myself on the situation. Uh, because my there's pictures of my sister like on his Facebook and there's like a picture there's like pictures of them on a camping trip and it's just him and his, his daughter and my sister yeah that's super creepy bro right well we all know how Cecil likes to record Xander and her friends every chance he gets thank god like my sister nothing ever happened to my sister according to her she, she hasn't said anything about that thank god 
But she did say that he was very weird, and he did say a lot of sexual remarks in front of them. And my sister was only 11 at this time, and, and point in time. This creep should not be around kids whatsoever. My, my sister said while he was while she was driving around in the car with him and his daughter, he actively said, "I have an ear kink." A ear kink. This dude is a sick fuck, and he's saying this shit around little kids. Fuck. And, my, and I know she's not lying, because my sister doesn't, she's young, she doesn't know about any of this shit. No 11 year old should know about shit like this. But I do have some things that allude to him being either abusive or like very controlling and manipulative of his daughter. And if you've been following this Cecil saga throughout the years, you've already seen it for yourself. I got phone calls between me and him where he says that he was 18 when he messed around with this girl. He said in a video talking about it, um, that he was explaining, he was like, what would you do if two hot girls came? And I'm like, those were 10 year olds. They weren't right. hot. They were 10 year old right. girls. And the only person that's gonna find a 10 year old hot is a pedophile. There's the there's also the case in point of like the drug situation with him. Right. He definitely uh, still abuses it. He sniffs his suboxone. He still does that. Yeah, to yeah I did that in front of my, my butt. 100% bro. Yeah. And he and he even came out and said like he he wanted to he tried to say like he, that his doctor told him to do medicine that way. And the only person that's gonna fall for that dumbass lie is Queen Tasty. <laughs> Sister and her, uh, Zandra, they they are not friends currently. Not now. No, more. Not anymore. Well, that that's you know that probably sucks as far as their friendship, but it's probably safer for your fucking sister, bro. Oh, like I, my mom was like, I remember my mother was dropping her off at that house at some point, like a few years ago, and it like right. that, that, that fucking terrifies me. Right. Damn. And then did you hear about the shit where he, for a little while he had a camera set up in his daughter's room? He still does. He still does. He still does. And if that's not sick as fuck, I don't know what is. And I and I when I asked my sister where did she what did she change in the bathroom, she said no, she just changes in her room. As you can see, your boy Cecil's one sick fuck. And he came online later on that night to go at Logan again. Unfortunately, he deleted the video. And when I saw that, I was all like, Oh, he's deleting his videos. Why are you deleting your videos? Oh, why are you deleting your videos now? Are you scared? <laughs> but don't worry. I recorded it in real time. Check it out. My wife asked me not to say anything about this, but I'm going to. Some advice he probably should have took. But since he wants to hide his face from the camera, we'll have to watch him and Cyrax have a chomo dance off. <laughs> Y'all want me to go to prison because of something you think I did when I was a little boy? We want you to go to jail because you're a pedophile. Hey, Logan, why is it that my daughter's old best friend, who used to be super best friends with my daughter... And thanks to Scooter, you already got the full backstory on that. She's to go skating with us, but somewhere down the line, my daughter and her aren't the greatest of friends. They are friends still, but they're not as close as they used to be. Something that probably wouldn't have happened if Cecil wasn't such a fucking creep. Why is it that my daughter, Zandra's old best friend, who used to be her best friend, she's 13 years old and one of her best friends is Logan. Here we go. Let's see what Cecil trying to go with this. She's on social media talking about how she misses her, 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 her guy friend, Logan. And how would Cecil know that unless he was stalking a 13 year old girl's page? Like, constant post about him. And for him to know that, that would mean he was constantly keeping up with her page, right? Logan, why is you, one of your best friend's little sister talking about how you're her bestie? But I find it strange that a 13-year-old little girl thinks that an 18-year-old man is her best friend. Oh, so now we're trying to make Logan out to be a chomo. This should be interesting. When really... You're friends with her brother. You know, word gets around very fast in a small town. And I wasn't going to bring this up. I was going to leave it alone. I was going to use it by putting it in my back pocket as a little ammo for later, just in case. So this 43-year-old man has nothing better to do with his day than to stalk a bunch of little kids' pages and look for ammo to have on a bunch of kids. What a fucking goofy. So you're hanging out with 13-year-old little girls, huh, Logan? Really? Logan's 20-something-year-old best friend's little sister is talking about Logan all day. 
Why? Why? Talking about you're her best friend. Now, it's okay to be friends with your best friend's little sister, but I find it strange that you're on YouTube supporting people saying these lies about me, make, editing these videos about me, but you're running around with your with your um, grown-ass best friend's little sister. Hey, you know, Cecil couldn't wait to come online and try to spread this rumor. But trust, this shit gets good. That little girl walked up to my daughter in school and said, yeah, I know, I know Logan, and, and uh, apparently uh, people were saying that your dad is a rapist child molester. Why would my daughter have to worry about somebody saying that to her in school? Well, when you're known around town as a child molester, those things tend to happen. I really don't know why. All my haters, whether they're local or somewhere else in the country, keep reaching out to people that either I know or my daughter knows you're not going to get guilt from somebody who's not guilty. Well, I guess it's a good thing we're going after somebody who we know is definitely guilty. And when Logan saw this video, he came back and debunked Cecil pretty easily. Logan, why is you, one of your best friend's little sister talking about how you're her bestie? First off, she's not even my best friend. And second off, she's not talking about me. She's talking about an actual best friend of hers with the same name. Looks like that ammo Cecil was holding for a rainy day turned out to be a dud. Kind of like the bullets that he puts in his gun. <laughs> and also, why are you stalking her Facebook? I didn't even know that she made posts. And you're over here stalking her Facebook. Like, that's pretty sus. No, that's extremely sus, because the only type of 43-year-old men that stalks little girls' social media pages are pedophiles. But unlike Cecil, Logan just called the girl's brother and got the truth right from the source. Bro, explain who the, who the other Logan is. It's her friend in 8th grade. He's like her gay friend in 8th grade. And once again, Cecil got made to look like a moron by a bunch of kids. <laughs> But I just wanted to make this video real quick to say that you're dumber than rocks. She's not talking about me. I don't even know her like that. I'm friends with her older brother, like you said. I don't know what any of my other information has to do with this. Uh, you're reaching, and you missed. Pipe down, and go to sleep. And there he is again, being bodied by a bunch of kids. <laughs> Let's go back to his epic Dude, rant. When you get in trouble for slander... Don't blame anybody but yourself. He might want to take his own advice, because he's the only one out here spreading rumors. Logan, rooms. why is you, one of your best friend's little sister talking about how you're her bestie? You're brainwashed by your computer, because that's all you got is your dumbass computer. I have a lot more things than my computer. Your computer is your dad. <laughs> Bro is mad projecting right now. <laughs> he looking at the face of a whole goofy. Even though you're over 18, you'll always be a little boy because you don't know how to be a real man. Real men don't live on the internet. Spread them rumors. And since we just watched him spread a bunch of rumors on Logan, I guess he's talking about himself. This is bullying. It's always been bullying. All the hate that I've ever gotten has been nothing but bullying. That's all it's ever been. And that's all it ever will be. But you know what? That comes with the territory of being a YouTuber. When you're a grown-ass man claiming you're being bullied, you know you're crashing out. But I didn't watch a stupid little video. I went to your channel where you left a comment only so I can block you from my channel. You didn't even have anything to say about the videos I made about you yesterday. And how would he know if he didn't watch the video? Your boy can't go two seconds without lying. I didn't watch it. I'm not going to watch it. I don't watch people who hate on me. Yeah, remember he said that. But Logan, if you keep it up, you do live lo local, bro. I can press charges on you. But he won't, because he knows when the cops show up, they're going to watch that confession video. And this chomo don't want that shit to happen. You see, all Cecil going to do is keep coming online crying like a little bitch. And if this chomo thought he was having problems with Logan, he really wasn't expecting a blast from his past to show up one of his old victims came out and told us what Cecil was really doing over in Covington. This is about the Lil Lyco and C-Love or Cecil or whatever the fuck else he goes by drama. And since I know Cecil's watching this video, I know he's scared as shit to see this face. If any of you are coming from a channel specifically called, I think it's Random News. Nobody knows that irrelevant channel. <laughs> 
there is a clip in there where he says, Don't nobody want your girlfriend, dude. Don't even go there. Hi, I'm that little girlfriend. I am Lil Lyco's ex. And spark up, because the story she's about to tell you is fucking crazy. Cecil. I've heard about Cecil from Logan before because I was asking him about his childhood and how he started YouTube. Cecil was a part of that story. I ignore the he said, she said stuff, but I will say I trust Logan more. Logan doesn't have an actual record. Logan doesn't have multiple people saying he's lying and they know for a fact he's lying with proof. And Logan doesn't have a history with lying. Unlike Billy the Kid Toucher. But Cecil started commenting on my videos to the point I deleted that account. I tried blocking him, he made more accounts. And at the time, Cecil would have been about 37. And what 37 year old goes around stalking a 13 year old? He was saying sexual slurs towards me. But you look like you took 100 pounds of cock. Yeah, that chomo really said that to a 13 year old. So I just went to Logan, blocked him, went to Logan. Logan then made a video calling him out for it. And when you're a grown ass man with a daughter going after two 13 year olds, you know you're crashing out. Because Cecil or whatever, I don't even know what this man goes by, I just know his legal name, um, made a bunch of videos fighting against multiple people and claims saying, I'm not a pedophile, I'm not a predator, I've never done this and I've never done that, but then just did. At the time I was 13 or 14, I was a minor. And I made that very well known on my channel. As you can see, Cecil has the history of stalking the pages of minors. And he still decided to comment the inappropriate things he did anyways. So regardless if his intentions were to be predatory or if his intentions were to fuck with me, it was predatory because I was a minor. And he is a weirdo. <laughs> but during all of this, it brung up a lot of traumatic experiences I had from him staring at me while I was on a bus by myself during my pregnancy to him following me down Madison in his hometown and catcalling me. So it wasn't enough he was stalking her on the internet. This creep was out of his way to start stalking a 13 year old girl in real life. What a chomo. I decided to make this video not because of the fact I want to feed into the drama. He has an ego that convinces him that none of this matters. Nothing we as a community say about what he has done matters. And trust, the community don't like that chomo whatsoever because they call him out every time they see him. <laughs> Your boy in the neighborhood chomo. His daughter has lost friends, whether she tells him about it or whether she knows about it or not. A lot of kids in the area they live in which I used to live in, but I moved, um, know that he's a creep, that he acts weird towards kids, and that he's also just not a good person. And at this point, we all know that to be true. Your daughter's losing friends because they know about your online shit. They know about shit that you've done. And parents don't want them around her, let alone you. Getting into that though, now it's time to talk about my boyfriend's sister's experience. And you heard some of this earlier in the school to big in section. Mary came to me asking for advice because of the fact that Mary was told something that made her uncomfortable by his daughter about him and things he was saying or doing. I didn't get much detail from Mary. I just know she said his daughter was uncomfortable and it made her uncomfortable. And I'm sure hearing all this shit is making you uncomfortable. Mary went on a trip with them, and there's pictures to back this up. Um, a grown man, along with two little girls, in the woods, by a creek. And if him creeping up on these kids don't look creepy as shit, I don't know what does. And watch what he does here. Y'all want me to swing it? Now, of all places to put his hands, why would he put it on his daughter's butt? I mean, seriously, this is some creepy fucking behavior. And you notice, he only does this creepy shit when his wife's not around. He has these pictures without Mary's guardian's consent up on his Facebook of her, which she doesn't want on there either. But Cecil refuses to take the pictures down. Mary did mention a comment being made about him talking about ear fetishes to her and how his daughter knows all of his fetishes 
and I personally feel. Again, this is just another example of predatory behavior. Yeah, most people would define that as grooming. It shouldn't get to a point where you are having inappropriate discussions with children about your sex life, your sexual interest. Not a no, no, that's predatory. Which doesn't mean shit to Cecil since he thinks little girls are adults at 10 years old. Oh, they were only 10 years old. My daughter is fully developed and having a period at 10 years old. So what does 10 year old, 10 years old have to do with anything? Little girls are fully developed at 10 years old. And that's why the Chomo thinks it's okay for him to sleep with his 10 year old cousin. Rather you're physically touching them or not, you're hinting and tiptoeing around sexual actions involving them. Rather you want to admit that was your intentions or not, that's what it was. Trust that Chomo knew exactly what he was doing. She said when they were out on a trip, she felt so unsafe and uncomfortable that she left early. And it makes me sad because no little girl should have to lose friends or have distraught experiences just because one man won't grow the fucked up and act right. And the last time these same kids tried to tell Cecil to grow the fuck up, he was all like, Fuck Logan, fuck his girlfriend, and fuck the haters! Because he's a fucking man child. Just because one man got away with a crime because of who he coincidentally did it to, just because one man isn't registered and wasn't charged, it doesn't matter. Oh, we're gonna get into that in a minute. I can sit here and fucking go beat up some kid and not get caught and not get charges pressed on me by that kid and their family. But that doesn't mean I didn't beat the fuck out of that kid. Exactly. But since Cecil admitted to everything he did, we all know he's guilty. It doesn't matter because this legal system has failed me so many times as a victim. This legal system has fucked me up more as a victim. Mostly in Kentucky, they don't give a fuck. And that's a sad reality, but it's absolutely true. It doesn't matter what you got away with, what you were charged with, and what Delulu fucking shit you got going on. You did what you did. There was proof of you saying you did what you did and switching up your story so many damn times I've lost count. And you say you don't run, but you're deleting so much shit. Something he wouldn't do if he didn't have something to hide, right? Keep your kids away from this man. But respect the fact that his daughter is a victim. She is a victim of neglect, abuse, manipulation, and possibly more. So do not blame the kid for anything she says. Don't blame the kid for anything he positions he puts her into. Because at the end of the day, she's a victim. She's most definitely a victim. Especially since she can't even walk around her own house without him filming her without her permission. Obviously, she didn't know I was filming her. Yeah, so my daughter, get over it. This dude is a fucking creep. I just want everyone who is going through something similar to know you're not alone. Because I didn't know that I wasn't alone when it happened to me when I was younger with other people. As you can see, your boy Cecil's a real piece of shit. And if shit wasn't already going bad for him, he decided to go at another YouTuber because he was on a rampage that week. But as he would soon find out, it really wasn't a smart idea. Check this shit out. I'm gonna say this. And that's all I'm gonna have to say. Yeah, Goofy decided to talk shit behind the black screen again. So we'll just put a picture up of him looking like a Goofy. First and foremost, the reason why I'm not even promoting your name on this fucking channel is for one, you build your whole channel off of hating. The person he's talking about is No Life Mike. Go check his channel out. He's funny as hell. You're trying to say that my wife, his ex -boy ex-boyfriend or something, is in prison for rape? First of all, I don't know who the fuck you're talking about. Dick Goofy knows exactly who he's talking about. When I dated that fucking when I was like 19, 20 years don't old. Don't say no names. I'm not gonna say his name. When I dated him, and he got in trouble with and the And he was sleeping with an underage girl, wasn't he? Yes, he was. I guess he snored at too many suboxins to remember that. Eddie don't know who the fuck you're talking about. And even if it was the case, well, how does that make Hetty a bad guy for having an ex-boyfriend who who turned out to be a fucking chomo? I can think of one reason it makes her a bad person. Because she paid to get the chomo off. 
He hired a lawyer. I paid this lawyer like $20 a week or something. Because for some reason, she's attracted to these sick fucks. This is what I want to ask you. Okay, you said Hetty dated someone to turn out to be a child molester. Okay, that doesn't make Hetty a bad person, if, if, if that's even a fact. And he was that's sleeping with an underage girl, wasn't he? Yes, he was. Sounds like a fact to me. <laughs> but what I want to know is, y'all been going after me for nine years, you have no victims. Y'all found the girls, and you still have no victims. We found plenty of victims. We just choose not to exploit them like Cecil does. You see, I ain't worried about you people. I don't watch your videos. I don't care what you're saying about me. Again, remember he said that. <laughs> but what Cecil didn't realize is that Low Life Mike was watching this shit and he had a little surprise for Cecil. Oh, and on. then your name starts with the words No Life. Who's he talking yeah, about? Yeah, you got that right. Who's that? No Life. Who's that guy? You're gonna call yourself No Life? Because you're being sarcastic to the people that you troll by saying that you don't have no life. Your only life is to troll people. Yeah, you, you openly admit That's what I meant. that you... <laughs> Cecil swears he knows everything. I didn't admit even come up are. with the name. Yeah, the truth doesn't matter to Cecil, so he really doesn't give a fuck. Since you know so much trying to fucking break it down, Mr. Fucking Psychologist, you don't know shit. You're a fucking child molester. You know how to molest children, bro, okay? You can do that better than me. That's it. That is it. I mean, judging by Cecil's history, he's had a lot of practice. You're not a good person, Cecil. You know why you're not a good person, Cecil? Because you fucked a child, bro. And then, okay, look, people make mistakes. You don't just like slip up and molest a child. But let's say you did slip up and molest a child. You never even took accountability, bro. You tried to in the video, but when the heat got hot, you backed up and said, whoa, whoa, whoa that ain't what I said. I ain't gonna say that. Yeah, because he's a sick, lying-ass coward. These are your words, not mine. What would you do if you're young and these hot little girls are throwing themselves at you? We know what C-Love's gonna do. He's gonna fuck. Yeah, because he's sick in the fucking head. Because that's what he did. But, uh, you never even took accountability. You said, I ain't got no victims. Bro, if you ain't got no victims, this is not a victimless crime because the word victim is in the motherfucking charge, bro. Oh, shit. I've been trying to get this for years. And your boy Mike just tried to put a Christmas present on us. You see? That's why it don't make sense that you're saying you don't have a victim. You say, oh, they found the girls and they still don't have no victims. But this piece of paper right here just told us everything we needed to know. <laughs> this is C Love, Ronald Cecil, C Love Carol out of Covington, Kentucky. Located near Cincinnati, Ohio, right across the water from Cincinnati, Ohio. If you know him or you know anybody that's around that area, put them on alert. We have a full blown child molester on the loose. <laughs> Look at this fucking goofy. He's so short he can barely make it into the mugshot. <laughs> I'm at to change his name to Pint Size Pedo. And once the chomo got exposed, he stayed up for like four days straight going at everybody. Check this shit out. Just to give you an idea of what random news his intentions are, at least I tell the truth about you, motherfucker. Really? Because when I exposed him in front of his wife, he tried to call me a chomo. Calling me a chomo. You the chomo, motherfucker. And he proved even more how much of a liar he was just by posting this video since he said, I don't watch people who hate on me. You look at the face of a whole goofy. <laughs> Random news only harasses people and doesn't like people that doesn't agree with Kanika Jenkins' story. I go after goofies like him will take advantage of people's deaths for clout. This is Random News' channel, as you see, and he's harassing somebody. Reporting on a story and pointing out how goofy somebody is isn't harassment. Because he doesn't believe that Monifa would kill her friend. Monifa was laughing at Kanika's funeral, not crying 
laughing, bro. Some shit he never even seen. He just heard some goofy said who got the bump on their own live stream. When I seen her protesting, she was smiling and she had the camera on herself trying to fix her hair. That's not that's not really backing up facts for me. I'm sorry. That's just not backing it up. And as you can see, the only person that believed that goofy was Cecil. That's why he went after me, because of my Kaneki Jenkins song. No, I went after him because he was a goofy that became psychic overnight and said this stupid shit out of his mouth. We are getting the answer that Monifa not only set her up, but also was the one who killed her. I believe she was choked. She was strangled by Monifa's bare hands. And when you're telling everybody you got that info from Kanika herself, just know I'm gonna clown the shit out of you. So you better roll up like four bucks. Because these goofies are definitely on one. So let's start the show off with another prank caller. Oh uh, yeah, he talks a lot of shit about me and drug addiction and all that stuff that I've had in the past. But I guarantee you, this goofy ass random news Smokes, blunts, weed, drinks, and everything else. I guarantee it. Fucking hypocrite. When have I ever came on here and said that I didn't smoke weed? One. And no, I don't drink. We can tie it up again, not over. Random news, you're not funny, bro. There goes line again. Your boy Cecil used to love my channel before I started going after him. Funny thing is, is I've watched your videos before. I, I actually kind of like you. Yeah, you see, your boy C Love's been a fan of the channel for a while. You know, when I'm making fun of everybody else. I, ra I randomly laughed at randomly news. I laughed at it. I think it's funny. Don't agree with people, okay? Agree to disagree and move on. But to make fucking full-scale videos about everybody who don't agree with you? Dude, you're going after the Kanika Jenkins community, bro. And I'll keep going until I expose every one of you goofies. You're clout chasing off of Kanika Jenkins. Off of people who don't believe it's a conspiracy or a murder or whatever. Because you're dumb. No, stupid is looking at half-naked men in the bathtub and asking your wife if it's sexy or not. There you go. There's the picture I'm talking about. Hey, Hetty, you think this photo's sexy? And you gotta be a complete weirdo or a complete dumbass to say some stupid shit like that to your wife. Why are you showing that? You find it weird? No, <laughs> Even if white thinks he's a weirdo, that's why he gotta resort to playing with himself all the time. I only play with myself maybe once every five months. <laughs> And I'm sure he's looking at that same picture of Tupac. You don't think deep enough. You think it's deep, deep ass, calling somebody goofy and laughing at them, making a video about them without doing your research, and that's it. You're the goofy. You're the real goofy, bro. <laughs> hey, Troy, your boy wasn't done telling me about myself. Because he came right back online bitching about another video that he doesn't watch. Right, random news. This is your other as you can see, your boy's having himself a little random news marathon over here. <laughs> if you were okay with him sending a dick pic to one of his, his fans, you were hard on my fucking pills at the time. Betty had your boy out there turning the tricks because they were hard off the pills. What? First of all, Hetty don't have me turning trick. Well, since you claim Hetty gave you permission to do it, and she said you did it for pill money, that makes you a hoe, and that makes her your pimp. Second, the girl asked to see my dick. The girl asked to see my dick, bro. Yeah, proving she must have snorted a bunch of pills. <laughs> and third, nobody sent no girl a dick pic. I was having a private video call with her, talking to her privately, and she screenshot me. Just proving how stupid he is. That's what happens. He screenshot a video. That's where the pic came from. Nobody sent nobody a, a picture. That's where misinformation gets out. There's no misinformation. The story was he showed his dick for pills. Whether it was a video or her taking a screenshot, it doesn't matter. You can say what you want about me, Random News. At the end of the day, I'm a recovered, I'm a recovered uh, drug addict. I went and got help for a problem and I succeeded. See you so bro. Suboxone does not mean you're clean. You're addicted to the suboxone. Because when you're snorting it, that means you're still getting high off it. But Cecil's little watch party wasn't over yet because he came right back online and showed how stupid he really was. Let me show y'all how fucking comically fake this shit is, dude. Looks like Goofy found the comedy sketch I made about him. Only thing is, he was too stupid to read the description and see that it was a comedy sketch and just satire. So he's gonna sit here and try to convince you that I'm lying on him. But with solid evidence of that guilt all over the internet, there was no way for them to clear their names. I got busted 
doing things with her sexually. And when Cyrax got caught sending dick pics to a 15 year old. That shit was fake. I never said that. And then the goofy can't even tell the truth why he watches it. He said exactly that. And when I got busted doing things with her sexually that she... As you can see, your boy's nothing more than a lying ass goofy. I never said I got busted doing something sexual. Cause nothing was ever done sexual with those girls. See, that's what I mean, man. Editing video. Nobody has to edit a video when this dude's done made countless videos of him snitching on himself. So here's just a few little clips of him admitting to sleeping with an eight and a 10 year old. That me and the girl were actually uh, willingly doing shit with each other for years. Cause we're not related and we were we were rebelling against our parents. That we were both willingly underage and doing sexual shit to, to each other. He was 17, they were eight and 10 years old. They couldn't get consent. He's a fucking sicko. Well, we were doing shit behind our parents' back. We were doing sexual shit. And them girls approached me with this shit. I feel like them girls were molested because they were approaching me and my brother, Joey, with it. As you can see, this dude and his whole family are sick fucks. And the fact that he's trying to use a comedy sketch to gaslight his audience to make them believe I'm lying on him is fucking crazy. Same losers messing with me. So Cecil decided. By the way, this is before I found out what, what Cyrix was. This is before I found out that he actually got charged and convicted of doing some shit to somebody. Me, I don't even have a person saying it about me. You know, nobody but his sister and the rest of the people in his neighborhood. And I'll just leave this right are, here. Y'all are using my own videos against me. And you confessing to what you did that's the best evidence we could ever have. People like me and Cyrus stay together. But when undisputed evidence showed that Cyrus raped a blind kid. He says it's not true. Then why did you have to change high schools after you raped him? And when Cecil saw this, to save his own ass, I actually didn't even see that. See what I mean? This dude like to come on here and call people slow, yet he too dumb to know what a comedy sketch is. I said that he's being harassed and act, acting all nice about Cyrix. That's because I didn't know the story. I didn't hear. I don't watch hate videos. Why is he blatantly lying through his tooth? This is the third video of mine that he's watched since we've been sitting here. Unless it's something to laugh at. I'm not going to stress over this dumb shit. So when I found out he really was a chomo, I was like, uh-uh. I ain't fucking with this dude. I was eternal, Cyrus. Hello, Cyrus. I never said I wanted to team up with you. <laughs> so Mose ain't allowed on my shit. You're not welcome here, dude. Goodbye. <laughs> and all Cecil did was send Cyrus down the dark path. <laughs> You can tell that wasn't a phone call. And you can tell this dude's level of intelligence is zero. And when Cecil took his kids camp and left his wife at home, that's when <laughs> things turned dead. Because Cecil... <laughs> when Cecil went camping and left his wife at home, let me tell you something, you dumbass. I've never went camping without my wife. See what I mean? You gotta be a special type of stupid to be this dumb. <laughs> You are so stupid! Sad's a dumbass that gets scared by his own reflection. Did you see that? Oh, that was me in the mirror. <laughs> and trust, when I saw that, I was all like... You are so stupid! <laughs> and when Cecil White went down to the phone, he checked the security system, and his worst nightmare came to life. Oh, Cecil checked his security camera in his worst nightmare. That dude wasn't in the woods looking for me. Shut up. Fucking idiot. And look, he puts a video of Cyrix over here acting like it's my security cameras. Damn, random news. And look, try to make it look like a, a live stream. Look. And at this point, anybody with any form of intelligence would have got the joke. But we're talking about Cecil here. <laughs> That's a video, that's a video of Cyrus Rand. <laughs> it wasn't no security footage. You're a liar, Rand. That's what you want to see. And I'm pretty sure that dumbass thought that part was real too. <laughs> oh God, you're so fake. Oh my God, random news, you're an idiot. <laughs> This shit is comical at this point. And since the video was made to be comical, I guess it did its job. But the only thing funny is watching this dude come on here and prove my point over and over again that he is a complete fucking goofy. 
See, at the end of the day, Cecil's nothing more than an angry-ass loser chomo who's mad at the world because his past has caught up to him and he can't escape the fucked up shit that he did. A dude whose internet presence has ruined his family's lives to the point that his wife is going online and having nervous breakdowns. Oh my oh, god! No, he's back. He's back. He's back. He's the back. only content we're getting. I don't want to be on fucking camera. A man would ruin in his daughter's life and making her lose all of her friends because he has to be a creep every time they come around. As you can see, Sandra's best friend is in there. You see, his daughter can't have a sleepover without this creep using his video cameras to film her friends. And if that's just not embarrassing enough for his daughter, he brings her friends on camera whenever they come over to try to get him out of trouble. She's here with her friend. And uh, she agreed to get on the video too. This dude's pathetic. And if you can't tell by the little girl's face, she's already freaked out. They just want to defend me in regards to, you know, the whole weirdo stuff. And you guys accuse me of acting weird and... Because interrupting your daughter's sleepover to try to get her to make people believe you're not a pedophile isn't weird at all. Around Sandra's friends and being weird to my kid is what y'all accuse me of. And clown shit like this is the reason why his wife is going to leave him soon and now she's refusing to sleep with him. She's not crazy about sex, period, anyway, at all. It doesn't mean we don't have sex, dumbass. Oh, that's definitely what it means. Or you wouldn't be so mad. <laughs> it means that you wouldn't know how to handle your emotions like most men don't know how to handle their emotions when they don't get pussy all the time. And the fact that he had to go out of his way to make this video shows he's not getting it at all. You see, I'm not with my wife for sex. I guess that explains why he sits around clicking on child porn links. <laughs> he clicked on it once. And if that's not the face of a chomo, I don't know what it is. The title of the website is something like child porn or some stupid shit. And nobody would have clicked the link that said that at all, unless you were a chomo or a dumbass. It doesn't show any kids, like, initially. <laughs> he really just said initially, meaning he watched that shit. I don't even know why I'm explaining this. You guys are douchebags. Oh, he just admitted that his wife don't give him none. As you can see, Cecil's crashing out in real life, and it's pretty much the end of the road for that dude. And there's a lot more on this dude to cover. But we're going to have to get to that in the next episode. But that's why I'm going to have to end this one. I hope you guys had a good time. I hope you like, share, and subscribe. And the Halloween special is about to come up. So if you want to donate to the channel to make the episode great, hit the cash app for your boy. And I'll catch you on the next one. Like, he does good, he does good videos. <laughs> and if you can't tell by the look on his face, he mad as shit that she just said that. If you don't like somebody on YouTube, just don't watch them. It's goofy. Tattooed on my arm. <laughs> you done running? I ain't running, bro. Okay, well, when you hang up on people, that means you're running. That's the definition of that. You can't, you don't hang up when, when you, I don't have to talk to people.